While Imran Khan refuses to speak up, some countries are being punished for the opposite, for standing firm and speaking out. I'm talking about Lithuania. We've told you about their crusade against China. Last year, Lithuania invited Taiwan to open an office in their capital. The office was named Taiwan, not Taipei, like in other, its other offices in Europe and America. Needless to say, Beijing was livid. They responded with an illegal trade war on Lithuania. Their shipments to China fell 91% last month. Now, 91% may seem like a huge blow, but let me put that number in context. China makes up just 1% of Lithuania's exports. Plus, Taiwan announced a $200 million fund for them. So technically, Lithuania could have survived this trade war only if Europe had not played spoil sport. You see, Beijing knows it cannot hurt Lithuania directly, so it has changed strategy. China is going after European multinational companies to target Lithuania. The plan is quite simple. China is offering two options to European companies. Either cut your ties with Lithuania or leave the Chinese market. In simple words, we call this blackmail. Some European firms are giving in to the pressure, especially the German car makers, BMW, Volkswagen, Continental, all of them import parts from Lithuania. But if they keep importing, they will be kicked out of the Chinese market. So these companies are asking Lithuania to climb down, to seek a compromise with China. Here's what the German Baltic Chamber of Commerce wrote. The basic business model of the companies is in question and some will have no other option, no other choice than to shut down production in Lithuania. This is not trade. This is not diplomacy either. This is blackmail packaged as policy. We have international rules governing trade. We have a special organization to oversee it. It's called the World Trade Organization. China is flouting all of these norms to bully Lithuania. Their only hope is the European Union. Lithuania is a member of the EU. Together, the bloc can fight China's illegal blockade. But like always, the EU is divided on this one too. Their top trade official is hoping for a compromise with China. Compromise, no countermeasures, no statement of condemnation. The EU wants to end this controversy and end it quickly. All we can say is this. Lithuania tried. Unfortunately, they got no support from their so-called allies. After months of resisting Chinese high-handedness, reports say Lithuania could be seeking a compromise. Their plan is to rename Taiwan's office, change it from Taiwan to Taiwanese people. What difference would that make? Well, Taiwan refers to a political entity. They say it refers to political relations, but Taiwanese people refers to the public. It talks about cultural and economic exchanges. And Lithuania is hoping that this will satisfy Beijing. But the early indications are not good. Let me tell you what the Global Times wrote about this proposal, and I'm quoting, if Lithuania intends to mend its ties with China, it will take much more than just renaming the office. The key is whether the Lithuanian government can clearly recognize the reality Lithuania needs to make substantial adjustments to its overall China policy. So what more do the Chinese want? To answer this, we must go back to May 2021. Lithuania had just pulled out of the 17 plus one forum with China. This was a huge blow for Beijing. 17 plus 1 was a special forum including Eastern and Central European states. 12 EU members, 5 Balkan states and China. That was the format. It was supposed to be China's gateway into Europe. But Lithuania spoiled that plan. Once they spoke out, others followed. Last week, we told you about Slovenia. It's the same story. A small nation standing up to China. To reverse these setbacks, China wants Lithuania to return to 17 plus 1. In fact, Beijing is making an example out of them. Let me go back to the Global Times. This is what it says. It is time for those countries and their leaders to think carefully. Not, one cannot have access to China's huge market and investment by hurting Chinese people's feelings and supporting Taiwan's secession from China. Again, blackmail. Forget Taiwan or forget our money. Big European powers are doing nothing about this. Germany is not stopping its car makers. France is not offering Lithuania alternatives. All of them are keen on trading with China. They need Beijing's money more than Taiwan's friendship. We still don't know how this diplomatic row will end. As I said, reports say Lithuania will rename Taiwan's office, but Taiwan says no request has been made. Either way, this is another failure of the EU, another example of how Eastern and Central European nations are ignored by the likes of Germany and France. Lithuania's anti-China crusade did have momentum, but turns out the Pope in Brussels never blessed it. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.